A few years ago, this is almost 10 years ago now, I made a mistake that still makes me cringe and feel terrible when I think about it. I was working for marriage equality, and we were collecting stories of real-life same-sex couples who talked about how their lives would be changed by marriage equality. And we had an option where you could say, share my story, share my story with my full name, share my story with just my first name, maybe just my initials. And we got some stories and we got a, a great one and I was excited to put it right up. And I did. And a couple of days later, I got an email from one of the people in the couple and it turned out that I hadn't read her submission very carefully and I had put up their full names first and last, when they had asked to only use their first name. So yeah, I had effectively outed them on the internet when they had asked me not to. And I felt terrible. Of course, I wrote back and I told them I was so sorry and that I would change it, and I did. I changed the name so it was just their first names appearing. But it takes a while for search engines to get rid of those things. So for a couple days, when you Googled one of their names, you could have gotten to our site. Being outed is so dangerous, where people can lose their jobs, they can lose their relationships with their family, and it's so important for people to be in charge of that. And so I felt terrible. And even when I think of it now, I get this feeling like right here of constriction and shrinking and heaviness. Like I want to just curl up around myself and hide and not have anyone look at me. That's shame. Shame, it's like guilt, but a little bit different. So guilt is, I did something bad. And shame is, I am bad. So in my case, guilt would be, oh, that was not a good thing to do. Don't do that again. Be careful. And shame is, oh, what a stupid person I am. What an irresponsible, unobservant jerk. And shame is an emotion that's common to all people. We all experience it at some time, but it can be really dangerous and isolating when we get stuck there. Um, guilt, I think, can be sometimes a useful emotion if you have impetus to never do that again. But shame, if you feel like I am bad, why would I bother trying to change my behavior? It's some core part of my being. Shame either wants us to hide to move away from it and to pretend it doesn't happen, and that ends up getting us stuck. Or overly try to please someone to sort of overcompensate for it, or to have it sort of come out sideways by being defensive or irritable or aggressive. And so now I recognize that what I felt and what I feel of over that mistake is shame. And that's an important step to dealing with shame is to be able to recognize it. I've been reading the work of shame researcher Brene Brown on dealing with and understanding shame, and that's the first step, is understanding that shame has physical symptoms. So for me, it's that feeling of constriction and heaviness in my chest and right here. For you, it might be dry mouth or racing heart or flushing in your face. Recognizing shame is the first step. The next one is exploring what triggers shame and what is going on behind that. So for me, the idea of being an irresponsible person, um, being an inconsiderate person, really triggers shame in me. And so finally, 
what we do when we work through shame, the way to work through it is to reach out and connect, to tell our story. And that doesn't mean to reach out to somebody random and to start telling them all of the things that we've done that are terrible. And it also doesn't mean necessarily um, sort of overly trying to please or explain ourselves to someone that we may have hurt. It means reaching out to someone we trust, maybe a trusted friend, someone we know can be there for us and saying, here's what happened. I feel so terrible. I feel so ashamed. And in the process of having that person listen and understand, understand our story, we start to feel like we can own our story again, like we can be ourselves again. And so flawed and imperfect and mistake-making as we are, my hope is that this can be a place where we can own our own stories and where we can help one another move through the mistakes and the shame and all that is a part of our life together as individuals and in community.